Local news starts right now. Southern Utah's News Choice, KCSG Television. Live from the KCSG Broadcast Center, here is Tamara Lee. Good evening, I'm Tamara Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's the kind of story that is a parent's worst nightmare and frustrating for lawmen. When it comes to news, weather, and sports, one Salt Lake City television station promotes fresh air. You can see that Southern Utah is not Salt Lake City. Good evening, I'm Tamara Lee. When it comes to news, weather, and sports about Southern Utah for Southern Utah, join Tamara Lee and the KCSG News Team for a clear picture about Southern Utah. KCSG, Southern Utah's news choice. We'll tell you how they got to Washington. On your side, this is KLBK 13 News. And we thank you for choosing KLBK 13 News at 6. I'm Brian Mudd. And I'm Mandy Lawrence. Well, up front tonight, construction was Bringing you a clear, precise forecast generated by the awesome power of the exclusive FutureCast weather computer. Here's meteorologist Carlos Gonzalez in the KLBK 13 Storm Track Center. Well, good evening to everyone. We're starting off by taking a look at Storm Track Digital. You're watching Brian Mudd and Mandy Lawrence. On your side, this is KLBK 13 News. Well, certainly preparations are underway for President Bush's inauguration and a Keith Morrison. Kelly Lang. Fritz Coleman Weather. Fred Rogan, Sports. David Horowitz, Fight Back. Entertainment and Jess Marlowe, commentary. Channel 4 News at 5. Good evening. Leading off the news at 5, it's a compromise, but the LA City Council today passed an ordinance giving non smokers a lot more room in public places. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Paula Zahn. Good evening, everybody. The results are coming in now from today's local... News with Joel Daly and Linda Yu, Jerry Taft's weather, Mike Adamley on sports, and the Eyewitness News team. Good afternoon, everyone. And WBBM Television, sharing the spirit of Chicago. From Chicago's news team, this is the Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening. 14 Chicago area doctors tonight are charged with defrauding the... WBBM Television, sharing the spirit of Chicago. From Chicago's news team, this is Channel 2, the 10 o'clock news. Good evening. In the past hour, a flurry of rumors and denials from Washington that... On Channel 5, this is the 6 o'clock news with Carol Marine, John Coleman with weather, and Mark G. and Greco with sports. The Channel 5 news at 6. Good evening. There's more controversy surrounding the probe into City Hall payoffs tonight. Char Live from Independence.
Fred's Mall and throughout the Delaware Valley, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News Nightcast. Good evening, I'm Steve Bell. And I'm Diane Allen. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Don Tomlinson, Dave Roberts, and Jim Gardner. Monday night, New Jersey motorists maintain their number one ranking for... Delaware Valley's leading news program with Don Tollison, Dave Roberts, and Jim Gardner. Friday night, last minute shoppers search for... Now, Dave McElhatton, Wendy Takuda, Wayne Walker on sports, and Joel Bartlett with weather. This is Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Good evening. Topping our news tonight, five days of scandal have apparently knocked all the life out of Gary Hart's presidential campaign. Now, Dave McElhack, Kate Kelly, Wayne Walker on sports, and Joel Bartlett with weather. This is Channel 5 Eyewitness News Nightcast. Good evening. Topping Nightcast, the cop who was outgunned but not outrun. Gary Repstock, Hannah Chavez, Dr. Dina Dell, meteorologist Pete Giddings, Russ Codlin's commentary, and greengrocer Joe Carcione. This is Channel 7 News at 5. Good afternoon. The heat wave continues. Even Pete Wilson, Suzanne Saunders, Mike Berry with sports, and Pete Giddings with what? This is Channel 7 News Tonight. I know he did nothing. Emerald Ye, Jerry Graham, Pat Finn Weather, Gary Ratnitz Sports. And now, from the West's most honored newsroom, the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. Good evening and happy Mother's Day. Chase, Jim Paymar, Mark Thompson Weather, Tom Nettle Sports, Wayne Shannon with commentary. And now from the West's most honored newsroom, the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. Good evening, everyone. It now, the news of New England and the world, live from News Center 5 at 6. President Reagan proposes legislation aimed at helping the elderly pay for catastrophic illnesses and to avoid what the president called the intolerable... Now, the news of New England and the world, live from News Center 5, tonight. Good evening, I'm Chet Curtis. And I'm Natalie Jacobson. It is... Now, live from Boston and all around New England. This is the New England News. Good evening. Topping the New England News, Governor Dukakis leads a showdown over Seabrook. Now, live from Boston and all around New England, this is the New England News. Night Beat. Good evening on the night beat tonight. The embattled White House now just 12 hours away from what's expected to be a bombshell report on the Iran-Contra affair. From Michigan's number one news station, this is Channel 7, 6 o'clock Action News with Rich Fisher, Mary Conway, in for Doris Bisco, and Detroit's first news team. Once again, good evening, everyone. Our top story tonight at 6... Nightbeat with Mort Krim and Carmen Harlan, Bernie Smilovitz with sports, Brian Tegland in Weather Watch, and the News 4 night team. They say the killing has to stop. Kids should be able to walk safely on the streets and go to school and play. One group tonight is doing something. They're determined to save our kids.
Good evening. The entire nation tonight is reading about Detroit. Bruce Kirk, Kathy Adams, Chuck Gatica, Fred McLeod, Joe Weaver's Perspective, and the Eyewitness News Team. Good evening. It was day two of special school assemblies in Detroit to emphasize parental responsibility. Eyewitness News with Bruce Kirk, Kathy Adams, Chuck Gatica, Fred McLeod, Joe Weaver's Perspective, and the Eyewitness News Team. Good evening, everyone. The Detroit School Board has a strong message tonight for students who carry weapons to school. with the team to watch for news. Brad Wright, Alice Caro, Scott Murray with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Taft with the most accurate weather forecast in North Texas. And now, Channel 5 News at 6. Good evening. The man who has racked up more points than any other cowboy tonight is no longer a member of America's team. Channel 5 News tonight, with the team to watch for news. Brad Wright, Alice Carone, Scott Murray with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Taft with tomorrow's forecast. And now, Channel 5 News tonight. Time is running out, and the lines, as they are every year, are long at the post office, where tonight this year's procrastinators are trying to sneak in under the deadline. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. From KDFW-TV, Dallas-Fort Worth, Channel 4 News. The 6 o'clock report with Clarice Tinsley, Steve Bosch, Tom Riley in the Channel 4 Weather Station, and Bill Swanbeck on sports. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. From KDFW-TV, Dallas-Fort Worth, Channel 4 News. The 10 o'clock report with Steve Bosch, Clarice Tinsley, Tom Riley in the Channel 4 Weather Station, and Bill Swanbeck on sports. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 10 o'clock report. I'm Suzanne Moss, sitting in for Clarice Tinsley. What's up with the weather? Find out tonight on Channel 4 News with meteorologist Bob Becker. For a pinpoint forecast, Channel 4 News at 6 and 10. What's up with the weather? Find out tonight on Channel 4 News with meteorologist Bob Becker. He has the exclusive Channel 4 weather computer, and he'll put it to work for you. For a pinpoint forecast, Channel 4 News at 6 and 10. Make sure you're getting the latest news at 10 p.m. by watching the Nightside Edition of Channel 4 News with our Nightside reporters and the live cam system. We're the people in touch with the triangle. Dean Tuck for Channel 4 News. 
There are good reasons why more and more Southeast Texans are turning to Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock. We cover the news in depth with our exclusive cover story. We have Dr. Red Duke to keep you up on health and medicine. Jeff Phelps with an inside edge to cover the triangle sports better. Meteorologist Bob Becker gives you an accurate forecast and explains the weather. So join me, Rebecca Buard, and the Channel 4 News team and find out why we're the people in touch with the triangle. Okay, remember how you did it before? I like Southeast Texas. You got a mic? All right. <laughs> I'm glad to be here, a part of the team at Channel 4 News. We work together to cover the news in depth, and we explain it. I guess that's why more folks are turning to us. People in touch with the triangle, Channel 4. North Carolina's window on the world. We're UNC TV, learning for a lifetime. You're watching WUNL TV, Channel 26, Winston Salem, one of the 11 stations of the UNC TV network. It's Tuesday, December 1st. Tonight, coming to the aid of people in need. In North Carolina, now. Hello everyone, I'm Marita Matre. Welcome to this Tuesday edition of North Carolina Now. We kick off the month of December. Live from WFOR-TV, this is News 4 South Florida. So just how dangerous is Miami tonight? With more than 50 years experience serving South Florida, this is WTVJ NBC 6 News. A grandmother is back with her family tonight. I'm Jeff Pagay, sitting in for Rick Sanchez. And I'm Lori Jennings. This is 7 News, first at 10. Now, live from the news station, this is 7 News at 10. Tonight, first at 10, a rescue being broadcast across the country. An elderly South Florida woman surviving three days on nothing but rainwater after she sets out to the airport and winds up plunging into a swamp. And this is all that she saw as it happened the dark of night as her car goes on a 40-foot freefall off an elevated portion of I-595. Good evening. Getting to this woman took dozens of rescue workers and a whole lot of patience. But I think the, the mistake. You are watching 7 News at 10 with Roy Jennings, Rick Sanchez, meteorologist Bill Kamal with weather, and Deuces Rogers with sports. 7 News brought to you in part by Darden Restaurant. You're watching WESH, News Channel 2 where the news comes first. Live from the News Center, this is News Channel 8 on your side at 11. Detectives say this is the work of an arsonist and they fear he will strike again. Tonight, people in one neighborhood are afraid for their homes and for their lives. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gail Searin. I'm Bob Height. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story, a crime track... Tom Randalls, Kelly Cray. This is the Channel 4 News Olympic Nightcast. Good evening, I'm Kelly Craig. And I'm Tom Randalls. A line in the sand tonight for Saddam Hussein. The UN says... Stay with us. Channel 4 News. Tony Segreta. Michelle Gillen. Brian Norcross. Live. This is the Channel 4 News Nightcast. It was called the Hurricane Andrew story. Hollywood. You're watching WTVJ NBC6, where the news comes first. This is Channel 6 News. Good evening, I'm Willard Shepard. And I'm Kelly Craig. Welcome. 
Straight from the heart of West Alabama, this is Tuscaloosa's 7 News Now. Good evening and welcome in. You're watching WLWTTV, Channel 5 Cincinnati. Coverage that's first, fast, accurate throughout Greater Cincinnati and the Tri State. This is Eyewitness News 5 at 6. Fire rips through the home of. You're watching the CBS 2 Information Network. Now, live from Fifth Avenue, this is the News at 6. Our top story on CBS 2 is... TV 22! Now, live, the news leader brings you more of Western Massachusetts' number one hour of news and information. News Center 22 at 6. Randy Cutter. 35 News Team, it's the News Journal with Jeff Fitzgerald, Jennifer Keith, Jay Fawn, and Vince Coza. The News Journal. A year-long investigation by state law enforcement led to a courtroom appearance today by a former town police chief. Toledo, your news station. From WTVG in Toledo, this is 13 Action News at 5.30. From WTVG in Toledo, this is 13 Action News with Diane Larson, Lee Conklin, and meteorologist Stan Stachak with your first alert forecast. And I'm meteorologist Mike Fairborn. Still a little cloud. Now, Bill Carlson and Mike Fairborn. This is WCCO 4 News. If you're... Live from the heart of Texas, this is KMOL News at Sunrise. Good morning, it's Wednesday, January the 27th. I'm... You're watching San Antonio's News Channel. Chase at 12. Salter. Gallagher. This is Chase at 12 News tonight. Good evening. Police are investigating what appears to be the city's latest murder. is KWWL, Iowa's news channel. The news more Eastern Iowans watch than all other broadcast and cable channels. With Ron Steele, Liz Mathis, meteorologist Craig Johnson, and sports with Brian Leslie. This is KWWL News at 6. You mean to say everybody who goes out for has to wear this? Iowa's The Waterloo Police Department had some extra help today. KWWL Throughout the years, Waterloo. the news has had changes in personnel and technical advancements. From black and white to full color. From still photo and film to video via satellite. Center for Eastern Iowa. This is the WMT News scene tonight. Good evening. There was nearly another national tragedy today. President Ford narrowly escaped assassination. WMT News Watch at 10. Broadcast Park, Eastern Iowa's Communication Center, News Watch at 6. Your source for local news. John Bachman and Jane Hansen bring you the news. Radar weather with Conrad Johnson and sports with Ron Gonder.
look at today's news. Reported by Dave Shea and Maggie Jensen. We know what matters. Now, from the Eastern Iowa news team that knows what matters, this is the Channel 2 News at 10. That sort of thing coming. This is KCRG TV 9 in stereo. From your 24 hour news source, this is KCRG TV 9 News live at 5. A Muscatine farm family makes a stand for this land. Good evening, I'm Susan Fogan. And I'm Bruce Owney. We'll have that story for Muscatine in a moment, but first. You're watching the news team that brings you more news more often. Bruce Allen, Susan Fulkin, and meteorologist Denny Frary. This is KCRG TV9 News, live at 5. The news doesn't stop with live at 5. Here's what you'll see completely new and different on TV9 News at 6. Cops, crime, and cameras. More Eastern Iowa police departments are getting into the video age. Tonight at 6, we'll show you how Dubuque police plan to use their latest crime fighter. And Newscopter 9, it's our latest tool to bring you more news more often. And a live report will take you through its development. Join us for TV9 News at 6. This is KCRG TV9 in stereo. From your 24-hour news source, this is KCRG TV9 News at 6. Video cameras ride with Dubuque police to help them keep an eye on crime. You are watching KCRG TV9. Now, from your 24-hour news source, this is TV9 News Live at 5. The Iowa City School District wants these students to walk to class. From the news team that brings you more news more often, Bruce Allen, Liz Mathis, and meteorologist Denny Frary, this is TV9 News Live at 5. Smooth it. WWL Channel 7's Broadcasting and You, where for the next hour you can question the decision makers at KWWL Live. Your host and moderator is Grant Price. Good evening. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Hello, Iowa. Let's first get a check of tonight's big story with Sandy. Hello, Iowa at 5 with Amy Johnson, Chris Penalty, and your backyard weather with Dave Town. KGAM News Channel 2, your news station. Hello, Iowa. Now you're watching too. This is KGAM News Channel 2, your news station for Eastern Iowa. The news starts now with the big story. You are looking live at the crowd starting to gather for President Clinton's visit to Cedar Rapids tonight. It's the night before Election Day, and Iowa is the focus of the nation. Campaign 96, the final hours. That's our big story tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Roche. And I'm Amy Johnson. This is a defining evening for both Democrats and Republicans here in Iowa. President Clinton's visit to Cedar Rapids tonight at 7.30 on KGAN News Channel 2. Channel 2. This is Campaign 96. President Clinton rallies support and works to energize his campaign in Cedar Rapids tonight. I'm Sandy Reese Graff. 
Why would... Good morning and welcome to KFXA, KFXB, Fox for Cedar Rapids, Waterloo and Dubuque. KFXA Channel 28 is located at 605 Boyson Road Northeast in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. KFXB Channel 40 is located at 744 Main Street in Dubuque, Iowa. We hope you enjoy our broadcast day. Good morning, KCAL TV, Channel 9, Los Angeles. Now, from LA's daytime news leader, KCAL 9 News at 3.30. I just, I just want. Are you ace toe? You so are you ace? Back in May, KCAL 9 News exposed the shady ripoff tactics of a Southland towing service. How much? The owner didn't like what we were doing. Now get the f out of here. But the DA didn't like what he was doing. Now he's under arrest because of us. Whether it's bringing you breaking news. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Or exposing lawbreakers. And now, sir. One Southland news source has you covered. KCAL 9 News. Worked at this family practice in Sullivan, Indiana for 11 years. Live from your home for the 2000 Olympic Games, Colleen Williams, Paul Moyer, Fritz Coleman AccuWeather, and Fred Rogan Sports. This is the Channel 4 News at 5.30. Coverage you can count on. This picture says it all. Sometimes Southern California is just crawling with cars. And while our love of the... There are reports tonight that, uh, well, I guess we killed that one and I didn't know it. Okay, we'll move on. Something all parents would hate to hear about. A bogus nurse giving kids shots. Details about how she was caught straight ahead. Live from your home for the 2000 Olympic Games, Kelly Mack, Chuck Henry. Fritz Coleman AccuWeather and Fred Rogan Sports. This is the Channel 4 News at 6. Coverage you can count on. This teenage model came to Southern California hoping to make it big, but she was brutally raped and murdered. Well, tonight, eight years later, detectives have a big break in this case. They have figured out who the killer is. Now comes the question of finding him. Good evening again. I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Kelly Mack. Our top story at 6 o'clock, new life to the search for a brutal rapist. KCAL 9 News at 8 starts right now. Now, L.A.'s first local news in prime time. KCAL 9 News at 8. A horrific crash, the mangled wreckage wrapped around a tree. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 8 with Pat Harvey. And Carrie Kilbride. The city of Los Angeles has endured a janitor strike. Now, KCAL 9 News continues at 8 30. I just I just wanna hear this. You are watching KCAL 9 News at 8. I'm Sylvia Lopez. And I'm Jerry Dunphy from the desert to the sea to all of Southern California. A good evening. KCAL 9 News at 9 starts right now. Now, live, local, late breaking. This is KCAL 9 News at 9. We're now paying a steep price for seven and a half years without an energy policy. KCAL 9 News continues with Jerry Dunphy and Sylvia Lopez. Kilbride. I'll join Pat Harvey. KCAL 9 News at 10 starts right now. Now, live, local, late breaking. This is KCAL 9 News at 10. She was in a hurry, but she couldn't wait. This is a KCAL 9 News special presentation. <laughs> News 13 starts right now. Hello, everyone. I'm Natalie Fugeau, and tonight for Lauren Sanchez. And I'm Rick Chambers. Tonight, an exclusive. When you start breaking news, we want to know. The UPN News 13 tip line at 877-TIP-TV-13. Be a part of the story. Fourth Sunday, Notre Dame, Michigan, or Marquette, Nevada, Las Vegas. The final round of the Bay Hill Citrus Classic and Sports World with women swimming and more tomorrow on NBC. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
NBC Sports presents the best in college basketball. Today from Lawrence, Kansas, it's the second round of the 1979 National Collegiate Basketball Championship. Brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer who invite you to see and test drive the all-new LTD and Mustang now. By Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pabst is proved to be the best, naturally, with no artificial ingredients, and you can taste it. By Goodyear, the makers of Tiempo Radials, the tire that eliminates the winter tire changeover. And by Avis, the We Try Harder car rental company. <laughs> This is Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Jensen with Dana Tyler. This evening, the indictment of a doctor whose patient died... ...blood ravaged Midwest. And in San Jose, dozens of arrests today as Operation Rescue continues its campaign to shut down abortion clinics. Those stories and all the news on this Monday night, July 12, 1993. Live from KTVU, this is the Emmy Award-winning 10 o'clock news on Channel 2. The number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richman. A tiny courtroom in California's gold country will be the first issue of teaching kids AIDS awareness. Next. This is Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening. Tonight, the threat of a crippling commuter strike has passed for now. And now, the news team at 10. Ernie Anastas, Brenda Blackman, Stormfield's weather, and sports with Ross Salzberg and Monica Pellegrini. This is UPN 9 News. Tonight, the search for the Bronx rapist. Savage attacks in a close-knit neighborhood. Now, they want answers and action from police. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brenda Blackman. And I'm Koran Mahalik in for Ernie. And tonight, fear grips the Bronx neighborhood. Mayor Giuliani has his way. You're watching UPN 9 News, the New York area's most honored newscast with Ernie Anastas and Brenda Blackman. Now, here are tonight's top stories. Frightening times for women in the Bronx, a rape here. Good night. <laughs> Live from NBC 30, Connecticut's live local late-breaking news leader. This is NBC 30 Connecticut News at 5.30. Exactly. Sign on bonuses, whatever it takes to get them on board. What, give me some. The help wanted sign is way up in Connecticut. Tonight, Connecticut companies are in a desperate search for workers. But You're watching NBC 30 Connecticut News. Live, local, late breaking. Well, the Summer Olympics are just two days away. NBC 30 has a news crew. Live from NBC 30, Connecticut's live local late-breaking news leader. This is NBC 30, Connecticut News at 6. A Connecticut high school teacher faces child... The Fox 61 News at 10 begins right now. Good evening. Susan has the night off. First on Fox tonight, a story that strikes fear in anyone who leaves their car in a public parking garage. You're watching the Fox 61 News at 10 with Brent Harden, Susan Christensen, Rich Capola with sports, and Justin Keeper's weather forecast. Live, this is the 10 o'clock news on WBNA. Good evening, I'm Andrea Stasu. Another delay for students at Southington High School. School officials now say the school will remain closed. Weekdays this fall on WBNE. That's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us. Please join us again tomorrow at 10 tonight. Let me have that. <laughs> Thank you.
You're watching News Channel 8 at 11. With Ann Nyberg, Keith Koontz, Noah Finn Sports, and Jeff Fox with weather. Good evening, everybody. Keith Koontz has the night off. Police in New Haven are investigating. Why buy? Now, Eyewitness News at noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kerry Connolly. Al Terzi has the day off today. With back with all that and a whole lot more with news from Marlboro, Enfield, Guilford, and the place that you call home. We'll be right back. You're watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon with Al Terzi and Bruce the Priest. This is Connecticut's news station. The Cola War is hitting a Connecticut campus, and it looks like... Thank you for turning to 10. From WJR, this is News Channel 10 at noon. The Plunder Dome investigation widens this time. It is You're watching WCTI TV 12, Eastern North Carolina's news leader now. With coverage you can count on, this is TV 12 News, live at 5. North Carolina troops prepare to help tame the... I'm Beverly Kirk in Washington. U.S. investigators head to Yemen after an apparent terrorist attack against a U.S. naval ship. I'll have the latest coming up. And the latest on the crisis in the Mideast. This and more now on Nightcast. You're watching KFBX. Live with Texoma's 24-hour news team. This is News Center 3 Nightcast. Good evening, I'm Carrie Hinkle. And I'm Doug Billy. Our top story tonight, U.S. investigators are head... You're watching KFBX News Center 3, the one station to bring you the spirit of Texoma. Closed captioning is brought to you by the law offices of Monty J. White and Associates. The rivalry continues tonight as Old High tries to hold on to number one. We'll have a live report. The investigation continues into yesterday's tragic explosion as the bodies of those sailors killed are brought home. Plus a recall involving some 400,000 baby carriers. It's time for Fox 18 News at 9. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Davis. First on Fox Tonight, the high school football season. 7 News. Coverage from where you live. You can count on us. Live in Texoma, ABC Channel 7. This is 7 News Tonight. Good evening. Here are tonight's top seven stories from 7 News. The late afternoon storms may have been Dream Homes 2000. This is Texoma 7 News at 10. With Jan Stratton, David Bradley, Andy Wallace, Weather, Nicole Jolly with MedWatch, and Vince Erickson Sports. And we want to thank you for choosing 7 News tonight. We hope you join the weekend crew tomorrow at 6 and 10. Nightline's next. Remove cholesterol. Quite son, who is still missing after the attack on USS Cole. The latest on the investigation is coming up. News Channel 6, where weather comes first. Rain and a few lightning flashes. Pretty good bed over the next six hours and temperatures about Whoa. 10 minutes. This is WTVJ, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Jose Diaz Ballart. Jerry Helfman. Ned Smith Sports. This is the Channel 4 News Nightcast. From WFLA TV, 8 on your side. This is News Channel 8 at 11. Here's Jack. This is Wink News Tonight, 11 at 11. 11 minutes of non stop news, weather, and sports. Good evening, I'm Jim McLaughlin. And I'm Lois Tomey. Local authorities and the FBI want to know who sent... From WTSB Channel 10, CBS. This is 10 News, people you can count on. With Sue Zelenko. 
Reginald Roundtree, Dick Fletcher, and Al Kett. You're watching 10 News at 11. Joe SB Channel 10, CBS. This is 10 News, people you can count on. With Sue Zelenko, Reginald Roundtree, Dick Fletcher, and Al Kett. You're watching 10 News at 6. Well, the Dow closed down. From WFLA TV, 8 on your side, this is News Channel 8, the 530 Report. Sex. You're watching WFLX, Fox 29. Now the only primetime newscast in the Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast. Live, this is your Fox 29, 10 o'clock news. Good evening. First on Fox 29, supporters question how anyone can oppose such a cause. Coming up on Channel 7 News tonight, special Team 7 coverage of the Florida runoff election. The latest computer returns and live reports from South Florida and across the state. South Florida's news station. WSVN 7. This is News Center 7 tonight with Sally Fitz, Steve Dawson, meteorologist Bob Soper, and sports with Jim Barry. Good evening. It was a major upset night in Florida. Nationwide list ranking Miami in the top 10 of America's most dangerous cities. Does the bad rap ring true? Live from WFOR TV, this is News 4 South Florida. Good evening, I'm Ken Rosato. And I'm Jennifer Gould. Good night. We're having a very difficult time. We had a few more clouds in the picture for today. Well, Texas A&M still has a bad taste in its mouth. Yeah. Right now. This is CBS. K.I. Your Eye on Austin. And you're watching K.I. News at 10. The debate over light rail is looking more like a war. One side has to string barbed wire to protect its message. Another... Good evening, I'm Mark Johnson. And I'm Christy Fletcher. The final 12 days before the election are prudent. Live from NBC4, the station working for you. Chuck Henry, Kelly Mack, Fritz Coleman AccuWeather, Fred Rogan Sports. Southern California's number one news, the Channel 4 News at 6. Our Real today. Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast with Mark Allen, Patrice Dayton, Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orford, and John Sherman Sports. This is Action 10 News. Good evening. As we get... Live from KSTP-TV, this is Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 10. This research offers a potential... Good evening. <laughs> so, we got to say good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> KSTC-TV, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Live from KSTC-TV, this is Channel 45. Eyewitness News Morning. We are giving you a live look this morning in San... Live from KSTC-TV, this is Channel 45, Eyewitness News at 9. CBS News special report, Dan Rather in New York. For those of you watching tonight's miniseries, don't fret. We will rejoin the program right where it left off. Texas Governor George Bush is about to speak. You're watching 10 News at 9. 
watching Eyewitness News at 9 with Harris Faulkner, Kale Raymaker, Dave Dahl with weather, and Joe Schmidt with sports.